My business partner and I grew up in the greater Seattle area, so our roots are here. When we started um, real estate development and design as a company, we wanted to stay in the city and we wanted to make the city that we love even better. And so we focused on creating smaller projects that enhance the community but added to the finer texture of each of the neighborhoods. And First Avenue is a perfect example of where we wanted to do that. The Lusty Lady was an old peep show. Um, it really was a cultural institution for Seattle for a long time, mostly because it had the marquee, it added texture to what was happening in the city, but also was kind of one of the last bastions of what First Avenue was. First Avenue has really been revitalized um, quite a bit over the last 10, 20 years. And one of the nice parts is that it hasn't all come in the form of large towers, that there's still a lot of buildings that have been preserved from the turn of the century. And we have the opportunity here to come into a building that's been here since 1890 and help add to that texture along First Avenue by providing a hotel that's accessible, affordable, and still authentic. My first knowledge of streetcar is thinking of San Francisco, so something that's a little more novelty. But as I learn more about streetcars, especially the streetcar networks in Europe, how they function and how they work with their underground systems and their bus systems, and then even further going down and seeing Portland's streetcar system, how much it's revitalized some of their areas, it's pretty incredible. And what I notice the most is how much it allows smaller businesses that have fewer resources at their disposal to really be able to take root, add to the cultural character of the city and be sustainable in their own right. With new transportation, the challenge is always getting to know the system. You know, once you get over that challenge, you're creating opportunities for a mix of different uses, modes of transportation that cater both to the people that work and live in the city as well as that come to visit the city. And to be able to, you know, transit people through in a, a consistent, steady, reliable manner is going to be a huge improvement. Thank you.